Hey guys, I wanted to bring you another video about a uh, potential trait rumor and recap on um, if this would be a good fit for both parties and who I think would be better for him. Um, it is Rajon Rondo. He is actually on the train block according to ESPN and various sources. Um, but it sounds like Boston Celtics would receive um, Brandon Wright from Dallas Maps and some draft picks and some other players to match the salary of Rajon Rondo. However, Rajon Rondo is in his final year of his contract. So the problem with this is that it could be a one-year rental or he could be um, staying there. The one thing would be interesting is did Rajon Rondo express he would stay and sign a long-term contract with them? Are they going to be signing Rajon Rondo um, expecting him to sign a long-term contract. Um, you don't want that same situation like the Lakers with Dwight Howard unless you're willing to take that chance or risk. So um, that's the interesting thing I thought would be. Um, I think if it, I remember they wanted Darren Williams a while back and I've heard that the New Jersey Nets are shopping around all their players and so that's the thing that's kind of interesting that maybe that might be easier because Deron Williams have a longer uh, contract than Rondo. At least you could keep him longer. Um, but here's it, this is not the first time Rajon Rondo's been on the train block. Uh, Sacramento Kings has ex also expressed New York Knicks, um, Los Angeles Lakers, and Houston Rockets. That's who's been... Um, listed as potential suitors or ta been in talk to but it sounds like the um, Mavs and Celtics have furthered their discussion which if you're only getting one draft pick for the first round for this year I don't know if that's enough um, but I could see why you wouldn't give up a lot unless he signs a long term deal um, for me if I was Danny Ainge I wouldn't want two first rounders and Brandon Wright is fine but you have Kelly Olenek um, you have actually a couple um, centers so I don't know if you you have Sollinger, you have Brandon Bass well he, those two are kind of more of a power forward but you said that you have some uh, young players that you're still trying to figure out if those are the players you want um, I would value more of the draft picks if you can get more. Uh, maybe you could get two first rounders and maybe a second round draft pick. And if you could get some expiring contracts instead of long term salaries, that would be great to match the contracts. But out of all the rumors we've heard, um, I don't think he would stay with the Sacramento Kings. Um, but they are developing very well. If, if he had to choose the Kings or Dallas Mavericks, I, I could see him prefer the Mavs. Um, they have leadership already there in place and everything, so I could see Rajon Rondo fitting in there better. Um, New York Knicks, I, I cannot see how that's going to work out for that team. And for Rajon Rondo, Los Angeles Lakers, same thing. He'll probably butt heads with uh, Kobe Bryant. Um, Houston Rockets, I thought Houston Rockets were a better fit for him than the Mavs or the Kings. So if, if, if those lists, I would say Houston's a better fit, then I would say the Mavs, the Kings, then I would say the Knicks and the Lakers. Going through it one more time, why the Rockets real quick. Rockets, I feel like you got Dwight Howard where he gets along with Rajon Rondos reportedly and they try to uh, train for him in the past they do have some draft picks that they could trade away they have a lot of assets there they have to trade exceptions right now from that Jeremy Lin trade so um, they have some young pieces too if you see the Rockets they do have some young pieces um, Patrick Beverly he is a nice complimentary piece that could be um, one if he's a young player help you with defense in that sense get some draft picks in that sense you also have like players like Dante and Juchis. Um, you got a lot of young pieces there, and there's some Euro European players in 
Europe still uh, developing that you could get the rights for that too. So that could count like a draft pick in that sense. The second one, I, I said da Dallas Mavericks, makes sense. You got a nice starting five right there. Um, Sacramento Kings, um, new ownership, new everything. If he wants that challenge, that could be something that works. Um, next one I would say the Knicks was because they're in the East. Enough said. It, it's pretty easy to get in if you have a couple players and superstars. You have Melo at least. Rondo doesn't really need to score, but at least his assists will go up. Uh, Lakers, he would be the face of the franchise if that's what he's looking for. Of uh, A prestige um, franchise once Kobe retires, then that's pretty much they're going to give him the keys. So, um, just wanted to give you our thoughts about this trade or potential trade, actually rumor, but what they're saying is that it could go down anytime now till maybe, um, well, they're, they're saying it could be a month or two, um, like until the trade deadline pretty much, uh, if Danny Ainge wanted to prolong this, but they're trying to find the best suitor you know, or best deal, and I thought Houston would have a better deal coming up. So then Houston would have their big three that they were always looking for. So hopefully uh, go ahead and like, share, comment, and subscribe to support this channel.